G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for ages. I designed my own amazing, I think it's amazing, huge tic-tac-toe board or knots and crosses, depending on where you're from. So this is one that I did previously. Um, you can see the, the difference in the, the size. It came with this one X one one O. So I because I wanted one, two, three, four, five X's, I had to use this five times. And you can see it's already starting to go white. Um, and then it loses its gloss, which isn't ideal. Um, but anyway, I, I used that. Um, and it's got you can see it's got rounded edges and rounded edges. I wanted a more modern one, so I've designed mine with more of a square. I couldn't get exactly square because it was too difficult. Um, to create but I've got it as square as possible and you can see the difference here see the X see how it's square there and it's rounded there so again I wanted a, a more sort of modern dramatic square look so I'm going to play with it today I'm going to put these away and uh, I'm not sure how much resin I need so let's get the tape measure out let's have a look at this baby I feel like a new mother with a baby all right, so the playing section is about 10 inches, 25 centimeters square. Each piece or panel is at seven centimeters. That's two and three quarter inches. Um, and then these are quite deep. They're the same depth as, because you've got a lower section there and then you've got that and then you've got the top that you can fill in to make your base. So these are pretty chunky. Um, what are they? Oh, I can't measure it with that. Maybe this one. But anyway, this is my prototype. I haven't got all, the, all of them yet. It is, it is 12 millimeters. So I don't know exactly what that is in fraction of inches but anyway it's 12 millimeters it's really heavy it weighs 1.6 kilos oh my gosh anyway that's gonna be fun to post but once you've got one you know you can make lots and lots and lots and lots of tic-tac-toe boards and, and you can sell them I guess now colors uh, same as in this one that I did previously I'm gonna do the black base I just like the black base it sort of grounds everything um, and I, I'm going to call these channels. I'm not sure what you call them, but I'm calling them channels. So in the channels, I'm doing black and silver. And then this is just a plain silver. So that's going to be the channels. The top is going to be plain black. And then um, I think my X's will be purple. I've got two shades of purple and two different sizes of purple. And then the O's will be pink. Same again. Slightly different shades, bit of contrast, bigger glitter, little glitter. So that's what I'm going to do. Yay. So the first thing I need to do is, I've got my resin. I'm going to put my gloves on. And I'm going to mix up my black and silver. I'm not going to use all the resin because, like I said, I didn't know how much I was going to need. So I only wanted to come up to the top of these playing panels, these little squares. So it's going to go in the channels. So I'm not going to mix it all with the silver and black because what I've got left over, I'll maybe do some pinks or some purples. Maybe I'm hoping to get like one lot done. And then when I come back to do my black top coat, then I can do the others. I need a cup, a little paper cup. I do, I do. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. It just came in the courier mail today. So let me torch. I've got some bubbles on the top there. Let's just torch those. I made up a cup full of resin. I've got one cup, so 250 grams. So I don't want to use it all. Let's just put in, say, three quarters for now. And this is Derice. Super chunky. I better not open it over my mould because I might spill some. So I'm going to pour some of that in there. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how much I need. And then I've got some of the smaller, smaller glitter. 
that can go in there as well. Initially I was only going to do just plain silver and then I thought mm, it might look a bit a bit insipid, a little bit pale, you know. So then I thought, oh, because I've got the black base, how about I mix the black and the silver together? I'm going to mix over here away from my mould. So, um, yeah, you'll be able to see through it. I, I didn't want it an opaque colour. I've got so many ideas of things that I want to do with this. I want to do a an ocean one, you know, with shells and starfish and blues and turquoises. But um, Christy's come up for the weekend and I said to her, Christy, what colour should I do? And she goes, pink and purple. <laughs> I should have guessed that because she loves those colours. So let's do pink and purple. And then next time I'll do a different colour. So there we go. All right, let's 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 see how we go with that. Um, and I, I've put it into that little paper cup so that I can make a, a point. I can make up more. I mean, I don't know, don't know how much I'm going to use, but I can certainly make up more. So I'm going to put a little thin stream in first. Whoa, if I can. And then if I need to mix up more, I can pour it over the top because it won't matter if the next batch is slightly like different, if it's got a little bit more glitter in it or a little bit less glitter in it because then I can just go over the top, you know, and you won't notice it. Whereas you fill up everything with the one batch, when you go to do your next batch, it might be too different. And then the two won't, won't really match. So I thought I'd do it this way. Oh, I'm loving it already. Ooh, where am I going? <laughs> Over here. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to put a bit more in. And, oh, I missed that one. You guys are yelling at me. You missed one! <laughs> when I designed it, I made it so that, you know, these channels were relatively wide. So that you could put things in them if you wanted to. And you weren't, you know, really struggling with a really thin stream of resin to get in there. I wanted it wide enough so that you could actually use it. Um, you know, some of them are so thin, it's hard to get the resin in there. Right, so that's pretty much gone. Um, torching. Now, you have to be careful with torching. You really do with, with this. Um, if you've got a really tiny little gun like that, you can use him just, just in there. <clears throat> or you can spritz. I'm just going to go really quickly in here though, just just in the lines, trying not to get on my mould, but just in between, like so, and that's it. All right, let's mix up a little bit more resin. Uh, I probably don't need as much as I did before, so probably half a cup this time, and that should be enough. And this is what I was saying before. I can. It doesn't matter if I haven't got the exact amount like of um, amount I guess in there because it's gonna I'm just gonna sort of sprinkle it over the top so it won't matter if it looks a little bit different the next batch because you won't tell now I'm just gonna come around and make sure we're still taping I always worry about that been caught out a few times but now I've realised that I have to, you know, empty my my photos and my videos and things uh, so that I don't run out of space. Okay, here we go again. It, it's similar. A little thin amount over the top. And if it's not exactly the same ratio, it won't matter. Just get it in there. Oh, I missed. Did I go up there already? I don't know. So that I'm writing down how much I'm using so that when I do put these up for sale, if anybody wants one, it'll be up on the you know description how much it actually uses. So I can work that out and let everybody know. Looks like I can have a little bit more. I just don't want to go too, too much and have it overflow because I want that black for the background. Now, if you use a nice thin resin, your bubbles will come up and pop on their own. 
Whereas if you're using a thick resin, like a one-to-one -one resin, the bubbles won't be able to come up as easily. So it is nicer to use a, a thin resin. But your bubbles can easily come up to the surface and pop on their own. How are we going? Is it looking as if it's full enough now? Just adding it really slowly, keeping an eye on it so that it's not going to overflow. Looks like my little cup's empty. My cup runneth dry. Or something like that. There we go. That'll do. And look, I've still got half a cup left. Woohoo! All right, now while I wait for those bubbles to rise, I'm not going to do anything with them at the moment. I'm going to wait for them to rise. Uh, I'm going to get another cup. And um, I don't know how much... Oh, gee, will I do pinks or purples? See, I don't want to do half pink, half purple. Um, and then I run out and then my next batch has got a different amount of glitter in it and then it's like more pink or more purple. So I'm just going to pick one colour. Uh, I think I'll do the, the O's. One, two, three, four. I've got four of them because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. So I'd rather have a little bit left over. So I'll get another cup and I'll mix up some pink. And oh, I need another stick. Let's add a stick. And again, I'd like to be able to pinch the... The cup so we'll put it into the paper cup it doesn't fit all of it we've got a little bit left but I don't want to overflow it because um, it's too difficult to um, to pour if it's too full and I've got these two different shades of pink which I thought would be nice so some of that and then that's the um, Dereese as well we've got a set of those I think it came with like 12 different colors and then this is more of a rose pink, this one. Sprinkle some of that on. And give it a mix and just see what it's going to look like. Again, I don't want it too opaque. I want to be able to see through them. So that you can see that gorgeous sort of glitter suspended. Although it may all sink. That's It could do. <laughs> it may sink. As glitter does. It's hard to see what it's going to do. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there we go. I'd rather have a little bit less than a little bit more glitter. I'd like it to be a little bit more sort of transparent. All right, so here we go with the O's. Look at that. Wow. This is fun. Alrighty, let's go to the next one. Hopefully I've got enough for four. I haven't filled it up all the way yet, just in case I need to add a little bit more. It looks as if I'm going to have enough, but I'm going to have to make up another. Oh, this is what I didn't want to do. Oh, see, I should have put half, half full of all of them and then my second batch the same as that so that they were all the same color hey it's a bit late now a bit late now i forgot I, you know i'd have to take some out look i'm not going to worry about it first time first go let's just uh, put a little bit more in might as well use it all i'll leave a tiny little bit of clear left over just just in case all right let's Put a bit more of that in and a little bit more of this probably got half the amount of this one as I've got that one just because I prefer the brightest brighter one but I do like just the difference of the two the sort of texture that you get with two different sized glitters but you can see they're pretty much all sunk so maybe the other side will be the top because it's got more glitter in it. I, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see what they look like. I was thinking about doing half glitter and half black. But then I thought, oh, it might be too much black. And I'd like the idea of being able to see through them. That's why I thought I'll stick to this. All right. Here we go. Let's finish this one. Hopefully they won't look too different. 
actually it looks as if it's got more glitter in it doesn't it oh it does it looks as if it's got more glitter in it or have those ones just sunk I might actually try and get a little bit of that out and top them up I think it's I think I've just because it's sunk hang on I'm gonna put you on pause I'll be right back glove off first right so I took a little bit out I probably shouldn't have even bothered I just got a little teaspoon I just took some out put it in there give this a stir up not that it's going to make a lot of difference but um, yeah, it did look a little bit different but so you can see what I mean about if you're having to do two batches do half Half fill them first and then mix up your next batch and then half fill them. That way they're going to be exactly the same. You know, the amount of glitter that you've got, just so that they look the same. So don't do what I just did. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I'm learning. All right, I've made sure my table is nice and level, or my board is anyway, because my table's not. And we'll fill it as much as possible so that it's doming, so that you don't get that lip. If you don't fill it up enough, you're going to get a little lip. And then you'll have to sand it, which means it's not going to be nice and glossy. So you're better off filling it up really high, as high as you can, so it kind of makes that dome over the top. Uh, and then you won't have anything to sand. But you just have to be careful you don't overflow. That's the only thing. Don't go too much that it overflows. So just do it slowly, a little bit at a time, in case it does look as if it's going to overflow, and then you can quickly stop. Okay, I think that's it. This one can have a tiny bit more. So that one's pretty good with the calculation of resin. I got the four O's done and the channels done in one cup. But I'm going to need more for the top because I've got to fill in that whole area, not just the channels, and then five X's. So I'm probably going to need maybe double, I would say. So that was one cup. What do you think? Would I need two cups for the next one? Or one and a half? Just depends on how much this area takes to fill up. And then we've got all those as well. So these were half a cup, so I'm going to need another half, maybe three quarters of a cup for those, and then three quarters of a cup for that. So it's a cup and a half, so maybe a cup and a half? I don't know. I don't know. Right, I've got lots of bubbles. Let's torch very gently, just over the top. Hopefully you can see them popping. And with this tiny little flame... You can easily aim for just around there without touching your silicone, but don't get too close either because, I mean, it's hot, you know, it's, it's hot. So just be careful, go fast. It's going to go up here real quick. I want to damage my mould. So as you can see, it's a blue mould, but that's just my prototype. When I get, the, get them all in, um, they'll be here in a couple of weeks. Um, they'll be white, same as my other moulds are. All right, that's looking really good. It's really good. I'm going to bring you down so that you can see my doming. What do you think? I'll just take this glove off and then I'll show you my doming. Oh. Okay. Turn the ring light off so it's a little bit darker now, but Let's get down low and see if we can see the doming. Umpha doesn't know what to focus on. Hopefully you can see how it's sitting a little bit higher than the mould. Let me come this way. You can usually tell when you're looking into the, the window there. See that? You can see how that's higher than the mould. That's what you want. So there they are, little glittery babies. 
And there's the silver and the black in the channel. <laughs> it doesn't know what to focus on, poor thing. So, um, yes. I'll do the next coat. What's the time now? It's uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. I, I'm going to come back tonight and, and finish it off. Do the top coat in black um, and do these in purple. And then I can unmold it in the morning. Yay! Um, all right. All right. I'll, um, I'll see you soon. I'll see you then. This is so exciting. I'm, I'm just chuffed. Right. So I am back. I've made up another. I decided on one and a half cups of resin. So hopefully that will be enough. So now I'm going to do my purple X's. Let's close that door. Dogs thought I was going to put them to bed and then I thought, oh no, I forgot. I forgot to come and do my next coat. I was about to go to bed. Uh, I'm tired. I've had a busy day. So I'm going to torch the top of that for some bubbles. Right, let's do some purple. And I'll do it again in two batches like I did the pink. I'll do it properly this time. Right, just fill that about three quarters of the way up and we'll put our purple in. It looks as if most of my pink glitter has sunk, which you know I kind of knew it was going to do, but um, I guess if you don't want it to all sink, you need to wait until your resin starts to thicken up a little bit. Uh, that, that's an option. Actually, I probably don't need that much glitter. Yeah, you can wait till your resin's, um, you know, setting up a little bit. And then do it. That way it won't sink as much. It'll stay suspended. But mine's pretty much all sunk. So I don't know if that's going to be the top or the bottom. We'll see when I demold. So when it's in the cup and you've just stirred it, it all stays kind of floaty. But um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's sunk. Never mind. Live and learn, hey? We need a few more of these. I didn't have very many of those. All right. So whatever I've got left after I've done the, the purple X's will go into the center and hopefully it's enough. So this time I'm only going to do halfway and I might have put too much glitter in too, you know, it could have been too, too dense of di glitter. But I'd say this is going to sink as well. And then a little more purple will go down to the bottom. That's okay. I don't mind. As long as it looks pretty and glittery, it'll be fine. There's a big chunk there. I'm going to have to separate that a little bit. Almost made it. Almost. Let's get that big chunk out. Look at that. I'll put it into the next lot. Right, so I don't need very much now. Just a little bit to top these X's off. A little bit of glitter. Alright, see how that goes. A little bit more. I don't want them to be too different to the pink ones. The pink ones have got a lot of glitter that have sunk, so make sure these have got equal amount of glitter in them. Right, here we go. Fill them up. This is going to be pretty. Like I really, really love the black and gold and, and silver like I showed you that little one. And I really wanted to do 
a big one in those, but I'd already done those colours, so I thought oh, I should really try and do something different, which I have, but um, I still would like to do, like for me, for my own board game, um, or maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do a um, one to match my house, which is the navy and the aquas and the greys. I may end up doing that. Just need a tiny bit more. Just to make them dome. Are you doming? Let me have a look. Stand back and look across. You are. You're not. All right, I need to put a little bit more in. Just a couple of them. A couple of them just need a touch more. Might as well add a bit more glitter to them. All right, let's see. Um, you need just a bit more. You're okay. You could do with a little bit more. Surprising how much they actually hold when you stand back and look at the dome. You think, wow, I didn't think I could fit any more in. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how much you can actually fit in there without them overflowing. I dropped a little bit of purple on my pink. I wonder if I can get that off. Should be able to because the pink's set now. Yep, <laughs> I can just wipe it off. <gasps> Yay! All right, that is done. Now, gee, I hope I got enough of the black. I might not have enough. So I was debating, you know, whether, do I do one and a half cups? Do I do two cups? I'm just putting the lids back on my glitter there. Close that up. And I decided I'll, I'll just do one and a half cups. And you can always add a little bit more, I guess. It's just a pain having to make up a little bit more resin, but never mind. Okay, so now I've got... It's a big cup. It's about half a cup there. So now I'm going to add my black. I'm using the Art Tree Creations in Batman Black. And I want it nice and opaque, so we'll get a... A decent size scoop there. Get that off as much as possible. Get down there. <laughs> it's always hard getting it off the stick. All right. Here we go. Let's stir that in. Probably a little bit more than I needed, actually. It's hard to tell when you're just getting a little scoop, isn't it? How much you actually need. I don't think this is going to be enough black, you know. Uh, it's probably... It's only about half a millimetre... Uh, sorry, half a centimetre deep, but it's quite wide. hope I don't have to make up a little bit more resin. It's just a pain having to do that, isn't it? Just a little bit more. Never mind. Like I said, I'm writing down what I'm using, how much I'm using. So I'll know for next time. And there'll be no guessing games. And I wanted to use it straight away, so I didn't want to fill it up with water and then have to dry it. Because it's be tricky to dry all those little X's and O's. Alright. Move that stick. Here we go. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. So it will level itself out. So hopefully it'll be all right. I'm not feeling all that confident. <laughs> Right, 
let's just push this over, help it into the corners, off you go. So you really do have to wait until your, your first coat is, well it doesn't have to be totally set, it just has to be set enough that the top coat that you do isn't going to disrupt the bottom coat, you know, like fall through and then your colours mix in. All right, well, it's covered, but um, it's not doming. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? How much more do I need? Oh, look, it's so close. Oh, I'm going to do it properly, though. I'm going to mix up another half a cup. So in reality, it would have been two cups. So let's just give this a spray with alcohol real quick. Shall spray. The 100% um, isopropyl alcohol. I'll spray the. Mm, I don't know what happens if you spray uh, um, resin that's already set. What happens there? Did you see all those bubbles go? Works really well. I'm just not. I'm not sure what happens if I spray the ones that have already set. I'm just going to do this. With my little torch. Okay, done. Right, um, I am going to make up another half a cup. I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm going to fill it up. That'll bring it up to the top. But I will see you guys in the morning for the grand unmolding. Okay, so. I'm looking forward to it. I should have just gone with the two cups, hey? But I didn't want to waste the resin. Righto. I will see you in the morning. Good night's sleep for me. Just a blink of the eye for you. See you soon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh, the time has come. I'm so excited. It's set. Right. What shall we do first? Actually, I might get um, this little silicon mat out of the way just so that we can see properly. I like using those silicon mats because it's, the resin just cleans off really easy. Got my coffee, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Normally I go and sit with the dogs and have a coffee, but I'm too excited. I wanna have my coffee here with you. Right, what shall we do first? Shall we take this? Oh, let's take these out. Then I can put them down here. Let's see if they come out easily, hey? Oh, they do. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, look, there's all the glitter. I told you it would be on the bottom. That's really pretty. And then if you look through the side, you can see little bits of glitter floating. There's a little bit sitting on top. That'll be my top. There. Pretty, pretty. All right, here we go. I'll try and do this quickly for you so it's not too tiresome. Oh, there we go. And because I've filled them up nice and high, we don't have a, a lip to sand. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. Like that. Definitely having them that way. Now, last night I said to you, I wonder what happens if you spray isopropyl onto resin that's already set? Because I was, I sprayed it over, I just sort of sprayed it up here to get over my purples and it went on the pinks. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> it lost its shine. It went kind of matte and, and sticky. I had to put I, I put a bit of resin on my glove and I sort of wiped it over the top like that on the O's to bring the shine back. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it doesn't work. I guess best thing to do is to pour them all at once. That way you spray them all at once. So there might be a little bit of overflow on those, just where I did that with my finger. I'm so happy with these. Wow. I mean, you could have it that way as well, depending on, you know, what look you like. If you don't like it terribly 
glittery, you could have it that way, but it doesn't matter. Whichever way you want, it doesn't really matter. Let's get these out quickly. Just push on that in the middle while you're pulling up that. Okay, that way they come out really nice and easy. Gee, they're thick and chunky. So good. When I was playing with these ones, <clears throat> I had two issues. The first one was there's not enough room like between there and, and there to pick them up. So I'm having like trouble trying to get my fingers in there to pick them up. I guess you could do it that way. It's just difficult. You be careful. You've got to pick them up gently. It's not easy to do. And they see they're very thin. You can play it if you've got little fingers. Not that I'm putting it down. It's just those are the issues I had with it. And those are the that's the reason why I wanted to do a big one. Because I found it difficult to play. Even, I, mean, I haven't got huge hands or anything. But I found it difficult to play. Alright, that's all the O's out. And all the X's out. There we go. Look at them. <gasps> so pretty. Right, let's have a coffee. And I'll turn this one out. I'll move the mould out of the way. I wonder if it's going to be sharp. These aren't sharp. Comes out nice and easily. Oh wow, look at it. It's so pretty. Alright, now I'll put these on really quickly just to see how they fit. But I don't want to leave them on there because, you know, it's, it's not set yet. So we just have to be careful. I love that. I'm so glad I ended up putting a little bit of black in with the silver. Love it. Right, here we go. It's not going to damage it, is it? Play knots and crosses with myself. Oh, stop there. Oh, look. Yep, there we go. I won. I won. I won. Ta-da! And we've got plenty of room to, um, to pick them up because, look, they're a nice, decent size. So you can pick them up really easily. I'm going to get them out of there real quick because it's still a little bit tacky. Woohoo! Yay! I'm so happy with that. Oh, wow. Looks amazing. All right. Moving on to the next thing. I have got something else as well that I want to show you, but um, that'll be in, um, in a couple of days. But I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, if you want one of these, I'll put them up in my eBay shop soon. I won't have stock for another week or so but um i might put them up anyway if you if you're keen to put your hands up for one because i haven't got that many coming right thanks again for watching you guys love you all take care and um i'll see you again real soon for the next video okay bye for now